Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is Artemis Show YouTube channel, and I'm so excited to have you join me today. In this video, we are going to discuss about double circulatory system. Before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. Before we go into discuss double circulatory system, let's get an idea about circulatory system and its types. Why do we need circulatory system? Because the body needs a circulatory system for transporting nutrients and gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide as well as removing waste products. Apart from the double circulatory system, there is a single circulatory system. The single circulatory system is commonly found in fish. But the double circulatory system is commonly found in mammals. Now we already know about two types of circulatory systems. So let's get to know a little bit more about the single circulatory system. In the single circulatory system, blood only passes one time through the heart. After leaving from the heart, blood will traverse through the gills. Here, deoxygenated blood from the heart will become oxygenated and directly sent to systemic circulation without going to the heart again. This mechanism is different to the double circulatory system. So, Next talk about the double circulatory system and get an idea about how it differs from the single circulatory system. As the name implies, the double circulatory system has two routes according to the blood flow. One is pulmonary circulation and the other one is systemic circulation. So, now I am going to explain to you how it works. First, I am going to discuss systemic circulation. It starts from the left atrium of the heart and then comes to the left ventricle. After that, the left ventricle contracts powerfully and sends blood to the aorta and then blood is distributed to the body via arteries. Arteries further divide and form arterioles and at last they form capillaries at the tissue level. So why is this important? Because blood gas exchange occurs in the capillary level. So, the oxygen will move out from the vessels and reach to the tissues. Carbon dioxide that is produced in the tissue will come into the vessels. Now, carbon dioxide level goes up in the blood and oxygen level in the blood goes down. That means blood is deoxygenated. This deoxygenated blood drains from venues to the large veins. These veins form inferior vena cava and superior vena cava. At last, both veins drains blood into the right atrium. So this is simply systemic circulation. Then let's move to the 
pulmonary circulation so what is pulmonary circulation let me break it down for you pulmonary means relating to the lungs so now you can easily remember as it is blood flow through the lung now let's see how it happens as i previously mentioned now you already know the right atrium has deoxygenated blood then this blood comes to the right ventricle right ventricle pumps its blood into the lungs via pulmonary arteries in the lungs deoxygenated blood get oxygenated now oxygenated blood is brought to the heart via pulmonary veins pulmonary veins open into the left atrium so this is pulmonary circulation thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this video about the circulatory system if you learned something new today please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below i'll do my best to respond to as many as i can and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload and thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video